Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of rational number operations. This is standard 7.3a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 30 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have an expression here, negative 9 times 2 and 2 tenths, or times 2.2. That's it. We have to do a simple multiplication problem. As you can tell, there are no answer choices. F, G, H, and J are not an option, so we are going to have to bubble it in correctly. But let's just do the basic multiplication. First, we are going to go ahead and ignore the negative sign. We'll deal with that in a second. Let's just pretend it's 9 times 2.2. Just to make sure we're kind of on the right path, let's just estimate it, right? So I estimate, if I just kind of drop that, I'm going to get around 18. It's going to be greater than 18, so I'm going to say a little bit more than 18. But 18 is going to kind of get me close. That's going to help me with my decimal at the very end. So let's just go ahead and put our 2.2 up here. Multiply that. So we're going to ignore the decimal right now. We'll come with, come to that at a moment. Let's just pretend it's 22 times 9. So that is going to be 18. There's my 18. There's my 19. Now, 198 obviously doesn't work. That's why my estimate, I said it's going to be a little bit more than 18, makes sense. I'm going to put that decimal right there. Also, we can just look at it this way. I've got one digit behind the decimal in my factor, so I need one digit behind the decimal in my product, so 19.8. Now remember, it was not just a 9. This was a negative 9. So how do we deal with that? Well, when we are multiplying and dividing, there are three options that we need to be thinking about. A positive and a positive. That's what we normally do all day long, 9 times 3. Neither of those have a positive in front of them, but they are always assumed to be positive unless they have a negative showing there. So that's just going to be your basic 27. Now here's the interesting thing. If you get a negative and a negative, so let's call it negative 9. I'll use the little dot right there. Negative 3. Negative times a negative, they cancel each other out. They also make positive 27. So if you have two signs that are the same, positive, positive, or negative, negative, you're going to get a positive response. Now, what happens if we do this? This either positive, negative, or negative, positive, doesn't really matter what the option is, because that's what we did here. We had a negative 9 and a positive 22. So let's see what we have with a negative 9. Let's call it a positive 3. You're going to actually get a negative answer. So negative and positive, positive and negative, that makes a negative answer. Since we had a negative and positive, it's actually negative 19.8 or negative 19 and 8 tenths. Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure we bubble this in, and there's a lot going on here in our bubble sheet. So we've got a decimal right here, and we've only got two spots to the right of that. So we've got our tenths and our hundredths. And then we've got this weird kind of like positive and negative right here. So that's on the far left is positive and negative. And then we only have four spots to the left of our decimal point. So it goes up to the thousandths place and down to the hundredths place. So we need to make sure we bubble this in correctly. Let's use our decimal as our anchor there. So I'm going to put an 8 in the 8 tenths place. I'm going to put my 19 right here. I'm going to make sure I bubble in my 1, bubble in my 9. The decimal does not need a bubble. Bubble in my 8. We're going to leave everything else as a 0, but if I leave it like this, it's incorrect because my answer is not 19.8. My answer is negative 19.8, so I need to make sure I bubble in that negative, and that is my answer.